I'm traveling to this island. I have three hours to find four different types of animal, a mammal, a bird, a reptile, and an amphibian. Let's see if we can find them. Hi, my name's Matt. I used to be a zookeeper, but now I'm traveling the world in search of animals and adventures. I can't wait to share my experiences with you. Welcome to Animal Adventurers. So we have the kayak, got my sun cap, got my water. Sadly, we can't take the bigger boat, but you know, uh, kayaking is always fun. But just look how beautiful it is here. It was actually predicted to be thunderstorms all day, and we've had a lot of thunderstorms recently. But uh, I mean, just look how incredible this is, the Caribbean Sea. And in the distance, our little island that we're heading to, to try and find some animals. beautiful is this, paddling across the Caribbean Sea in search of animals. I've just seen a couple of pelicans moving over this way, so I'm going to go and check, check them out to see if there's any fish that they're, uh, they're hunting. I haven't seen them diving in yet, but when they do, it's very spectacular. Approaching the island now, just looking for somewhere to put the kayak. You can just see as well, it's quite shallow here. We've got a lot of coral reef. As I arrived, there was a male fiddler crab who was just giving me some brilliant directions on where to park the kayak. Right, we're gonna head down in this direction. We're gonna follow the stream. Uh, down. And normally I tend to find most of the animals close to the streams here. So uh, that's where we're going to head next. Just got to look at how epic some of these trees are. They just go up and up and up. Check this out. I found a bivouac of army ants. These guys are very impressive predators and I will not be putting my hand in there. Very cool to see them. I'm heading to meet up with my friend Timo who is on the other side of the island and he's gonna show us how to find and open a coconut. Mm. <laughs> this is how you get the coconuts out of the tree. Nice. <laughs> so I've been trying to do this myself, but uh, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Perfect. So. We have just found our amphibian and it looks like a type of poison dart frog um, but I don't know what species it is so I'm going to have to look it up when I get back but it's definitely an amphibian. Well I genuinely don't know the species of frog. It does look like a dart frog but I think we're going to have to put it down as an unidentified species. So I'm in the Bocas del Toro area of Panama so if you know what the frog species is please let me know in the comments below. I'm uh, finding it hard today. Pretty difficult, it's, it's so hot. I'm uh, very sweaty. All my clothes are soaking wet. And I um, have found many animals, but I didn't really expect it at this time of the day. It's sort of early afternoon. So most of the mammals and the birds are just chilling. Um, there are plenty of amphibians around, lots and lots of our green and black poison dart frogs 
and um, I'm keeping an eye out for some reptiles. I've seen some small lizards, uh, but uh, hoping to find something a little bit bigger. Now I thought the mammals were going to be the most difficult part uh, of this whole task of finding four different species, but I found something very, very cool. So the bats that we just found are called Greater Sac-Winged Bats, quite an unusual name. Now this is because the males actually have little sacs on their wings and they fill these up with a glandular secretion and also urine. Hmm, yes, pee. So they fill their little sacs up, then they fly over to the female bats uh, when they hover in front of the females and that wafts the smell out to the females who find it irresistible. And in fact, uh, this is how the males uh, essentially get a mate. Thank you so much for watching part one of our island adventure. Of course, we still have two more animal species to find. I don't know if we will, but I will certainly try my best. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.